Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video and to another episode of History Talk. Something I don't think I've done for a while, but the episode we're doing today definitely fits the season. So, you know, everybody knows about the uh, fantastical Santa Claus. However, how far back does that go? Ironically, it actually goes... The man icon, the Santa Claus himself, goes all the way back as early as a man legitimately known as Saint Nicholas outside of this. And ironically, the, the funny thing about Saint Nicholas is the historical Saint Nicholas, not, you know, the yearly visiting one, the historical uh, figure, he basically did a similar thing in his earlier years, except, you know, not for every single location in the world. Now, there's, I should probably admit, there's not much, I did some digging and some research, but realistically, there's not much that many know about uh, St. Nicholas. The only few things that are known are, one, when people started interpreting Santa Claus, the visual of him, that's what they went off of. They went off the legitimate St. Nicholas of Mira. M-Y-R-A, by the way. Um, the only difference is, is, like, you know, Santa wears, like, a really big red suit with, like, white, what is it, fur? Um, cotton, actually, I think is what it is. It's like white cotton that goes around the outline of it. Saint, historical St. Nicholas was more, he was a Christian uh, bishop, I believe. He was a, le a Christian leader of sorts in Greek times. This was a long time ago. Um, however, what made this particular individual interesting was the fact that he was big time giver. Um, and during that time of year, that's pretty much all he did. Um, at least the small little bits of uh, history written that was actually written after his death um and they were talking about his earlier years, that's basically the basis of what they claimed. Now, trying to think on it, he did live a very long life. For the time, at least. He lived to the age of 73. And at that point in time, that's actually pretty long. Um, <clears throat> years weren't laid out the same, of course, so it could have been different if they were based off now. The interesting thing, though, is that it's not that what makes this guy unique outside of his actions is the aftermath of them. There were several, several things dedicated to this man after his death at the request of different leaders. And not just that, what made this man a saint, that of which I've already explained, how goodly he was to other people, is what kind of reflected everyone's image on setting a standard for what Santa Claus is. I mean, granted, Santa Claus is never seen, and all you do is see presents everywhere, and you see him in malls, but outside of that, Okay, I... Correction, there is one other place. You'll see him on the sidewalks every now and then, like, trying to gain money for the poor as well. But outside of that, that's about it. You never really see anything else. In the elves, North Pole, outside of movies and TV shows, it's not like we have people going to visit, because that would kind of ruin the experience. But... I guarantee... If it wasn't for this one man, all everyone who believes in this, 
because of course the world has many people who don't, no one would have a direct image on how to interpret the man without the original Saint Nicholas. And who knows? Maybe the original Saint Nicholas, maybe I'm jumping the gun, maybe he actually is Santa. Never know. I mean, a lot of people fake their deaths. That's kind of why I say that. But regardless, Saint Nicholas, like the man himself, did many great things. And all of them were, yes, within his early years. However, it's kind of like a person with their job. In the long haul, most of the life is dedicated to that exact one thing that they aim towards. But once they get to the point where they're getting close to the end, more or less, that's when they start to settle. Well, when that settling happened, ironically, that's when Santa really started to come into play. I felt like this person in individual this individual person would be really good to talk about just due to the fact of how uncanny talking about him is to the certain point in time of year. I believe uncanny is the word I'm looking for. Like always, I'm doing this without a script. I don't script things. Um, but I don't know. I find Saint Nicholas of Mira to be a very interesting topic and definitely an interesting one to reflect on during this time of year with that being said i actually am going to leave this here i have another history talk thing i could do but we'll see maybe we'll be doing christmas carols at some point instead i don't know we still got some time before we reach that end point i believe as of today i make the, it would be about a week but we'll figure that out when the time comes for right now, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give the video a like. If you want to check out any other of the History Talk type videos, not quite as festive as this one, but click the link on the side of my head over here and you'll find all those there. Um, not quite floating your boat, but you want to check out something else on this channel that maybe you might like better, click the link on the other side and you might find something there. Crap. Drop something. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.